I say this quick before I watch this video. I recently made a video where I talked about Mr. GG, the YouTuber. I mentioned him in passing, <laughs> but I ended up making this fucking face the the thumbnail of that video. But I am a fan. I do watch his videos, and so um, I just seen that he released a brand new video, and he's talking about cancel culture, which I've been meaning to talk about as of recent. Because look at it this way. Uh, I'm going to say my piece real quick. As far as my understanding is, cancel culture does not exist at all. Because the people that, that we attempt to cancel, who, who deserve to be canceled, this is a boycott. That's all you're doing is that you're just, it's a different name for it. You're choosing to boycott someone or something because of what they do, right? So cancel culture usually doesn't work. Because these bad people that do bad things continue to go on and do them with or without us trying to stop them. But we should always try to fight because it's not about winning. It's about fighting. So, long story short, that leads me to this. My man here, Mr. GG, just released a video talk about cancer culture. Haven't watched it yet, but just based on the title, I'm already assuming that I might not agree with the man here. I might be disagreeing wholeheartedly with this dude's argument it depends on what he's talking about it depends on what he's talking about being canceled the title says cancel culture and it's out of hand or something like that i don't know we'll see okay but i have a whole other video where i talk about this other youtuber her, how he talked about cancel culture and he tried to justify all oh, this guy raw repsion the guy who's been talking about onision he tried to justify um uh, uh, having that guy who did the Gardens of the Galaxy movie, the director of Gardens of the Galaxy 1 and 2, he had said a bunch of really fucking weird, like, pedophilic things on his Twitter, like, 10 years ago, and that was part of cancel culture, is, is what they're gonna say, on, the people on that side say that, oh, see, you guys canceled that guy for no reason, he got let go, he couldn't direct Gardens of the Galaxy 3, blah, 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 to me, all of that sounds like excuses, that people like the way this guy made the movie, so they want to excuse that kind of behavior, right? So, long story short, am I going to like this Mr. GG video? Hey, who knows? Let's find out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assume that I'm going to disagree with this dude right now. But, that's why I thought I'd give my little take on this before I watch. Let's go. I hope I don't disagree with him. So I can keep watching his videos. Because if I disagree with the motherfucker, it's done. It's over. I'm breaking up with you, Mr. GG. I'm never gonna watch your fucking videos again, goddammit. So I'm about a minute and a half into the video, I'm almost two minutes in, and he just mentioned something about the cancel uh cancel culture and things like, you know, this is over. Katy Perry is over. He just talked about the Billy Eilish is over because of the meat dress and the yikes. Okay, I heard all this, and now he talks about what happened. I'm assuming he's talking about what happened with H3 H3 and the K-pop thing. Okay, so I guess this happened, right? So, H3H3, who is a racist, by the way. I have a video where I talk about H3H3 and how they're literally not only racist apologi apologists, but racist themselves. Ethan Klein and, and Hila and their little racist baby they just had. I heard they just had a baby. I don't give a fuck about that baby or his little racist ass, okay? H3H3 and Ethan Klein and them are racist. So, if the news that is breaking right now is that uh, people are mad at Ethan because he made a joke about people masturbate to the K-pop kids because they're, like, handsome. I don't know. For one, that's fetishization of them this is what you're doing, Ethan Klein. For two, uh, if people want to be mad and offended for you saying that, good. They should be. They have every right to be mad. And for three, what I'm getting at here is, God damn it, Mr. GG, this better not be no motherfucking video where you're trying to defend this kind of behavior. You better not be trying to tell me like about some shit about how H three H three is is being wrongfully uh, talked shit to because of this because I just said they fucking racist fuck them motherfuckers. Wow, see this is exactly what I'm talking about. I am about halfway through the video now, and this dude I heard him, Mr. GG said it. He said he was gonna bring up H three H three. He made it very clear this video is about the fandom of uh, K pop and BTS and how they got mad. The H three H three said this thing, okay? And so then he shows me the clip. He's showing us the clip right now. He's saying, "Hey guys, check out this clip. This is what he said." And the first thing I hear Ethan say is something along the lines of, "How did this become big in Western culture?" 
Excuse me, motherfucker. You said what? Western culture. That's what I'm talking about. All these fucking racists are obsessed with nationalism. They're obsessed with America and, and, and what's proper here in the Western Hemisphere, right? It's fucking weird. Western culture, motherfucker?